Are you having trouble making or receiving calls on your BT phone line, getting noise interference or having problems with your broadband? If you are, it could be a network fault or it might be down to a problem with your own equipment or wiring. The good news is there's a really simple way to find out if the problem lies with your equipment or the BT network. This short video shows you how to run a simple check that could help get your phone line working again. It's well worth the few minutes it will take to carry out this simple check. You see, we're only responsible for your line from the local telephone exchange to your main socket. So if an engineer has to visit and it turns out to be a problem with your own equipment or wiring, then we'll have to charge you. Right, on with the check. Step one is to work out what type of main socket you have. Unfortunately, not all sockets are quite the same. When we talk about your main socket, we mean the first socket on the end of the telephone cable coming into the house. If you have any extensions, they'll be run from this main socket. There are two types of main socket. The first type is what's called a line box. This will have a BT or OpenReach logo on it and a horizontal groove through the middle of the plate. Two small screws and the actual plug point are underneath this groove. This is the most modern type of socket. The second type is what's called a master socket. This doesn't have the horizontal groove on it. There are other less common types of main socket that we'll cover a little later. These might be on the outside of your property, but let's first look at the most common type, the master socket. It looks like this. It probably has a BT logo on it, but not always. If you have a master socket like this, Here's what you need to do to test your line. First, unplug anything that's connected to all the sockets in your property. This includes alarms, telephones, faxes, PCs, satellite TV, digital boxes and adapters of any kind. Once everything is unplugged, plug the corded phone into your master socket. If the phone works OK on the main socket, then the problem is probably being caused by a piece of equipment or your internal wiring. The fault is unlikely to be with the BT network. You can contact BT or a local electrician to fix this problem, although you will be charged for this repair. The next step is to find out which piece of equipment is causing the problem. Try plugging each piece of equipment in, one at a time, checking the line again after each piece that you add. If you find that plugging in a particular piece of equipment causes the fault to reoccur, then that's likely to be where the problem is. Unplug the item concerned, and look at the user guide or manual for that piece of equipment to find out what to do about it. If, however, having plugged a corded phone into your master socket, you're still having the same problem, we need to double check that the problem is with your line and not the phone that you've used to test it. Please try again with a second corded phone if you possibly can, even if this means borrowing one from a friend or neighbour. If you're still getting the same problem, then it's almost certainly a problem with the BT network then you should report this online at bt.com forward slash faults. Now let's look at the second most common type of socket. If you have a line box, it will look like this. It has a BT or OpenReach logo on it and a horizontal groove through the middle of the plate with two small screws and the actual plug point underneath this groove. At BT, we've recently launched the BT Broadband Accelerator, previously called the iPlate. If you have an accelerator or iPlate fitted to your line box, you'll need to take this off before you can run the test. You should also remove all broadband filters you've plugged in. Here's how to do it. Unscrew and remove the two small screws on the faceplate. Carefully remove the bottom half of the socket. Behind it, on the right-hand side, you'll see the test socket. This connects straight to the phone line, bypassing any extension wiring you may have. Plug a corded phone into this test socket. If your phone is now working normally, then the problem is with your internal wiring or a piece of equipment. You can contact BT or a local electrician to fix this problem, although you will be charged for this repair. Again, please do double check by trying more than one corded phone in the test socket. It will make sure the fault is with the line and not with the phone you're using to test it. If the phone is now working normally, you can track down what's causing the problem by testing each piece of equipment one at a time in the test socket. If you find that your corded phone still does not work, then it is almost certainly a fault with the BT network and you should report your fault online at bt.com forward slash faults. External boxes have been fitted to some new properties in the past two years. If your connection box is outside your property, it will look like this. 
with an open reach logo in the bottom right hand corner. If you have one of these boxes, you'll need to remove the cable tie from the top right hand corner and the screw from the top left. Open the box and remove the yellow plug. This will isolate your phone line from all the extensions and equipment within your property. You'll need to run a line test at bt.com forward slash faults or by using our automated line test system on 0800 800 151. If the line test shows a fault with the BT network, then you can report your fault online at bt.com forward slash faults. If the test shows the problem is with your internal wiring or equipment, then you will need to contact BT or a local electrician to fix this problem, although you will be charged for this repair. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it's helped to track down the problem you've been having. If you tried running the simple test shown in this video and still have a problem, you should report your fault online at bt.com forward slash faults. If for whatever reason you haven't been able to run these tests yourself, please go to bt.com forward slash faults, where you'll be able to find more guidance and support. Thanks for watching.